Hey, welcome to Living the Dream with MS. Uh, today I'm going to do a follow-up to the medical marijuana video uh, because my legs are really bothering me this morning and uh, I have a lot to do. So I'm going to use a little bit of the, um, the sativa uh, with the higher CBD um, which I can do and still function, not be impaired to drive, things like that. But I wanted to give you a little bit of an idea um, what things look like. So at night time, where I'm using an indica that has the higher THC, um, I would take it and I'm going to take some out just to give you an idea of what we're dealing with here. This is um, one of the prescription bottles. This is for something called White Russian. And what, what I would do is I would um, take the, the product. Um, I'm trying to open the bottle while holding my camera. I would take the product. Not the greatest camera shooting. Um, there's what that looks like and I would put it into this grinder and I would grind it into almost a powder, not quite a powder. Then I would take what I use which is a vaporizer. This is the G-Pen vaporizer and the head of that vaporizer just snaps off and you pack the, the stuff in there. Now I'm not going to use this particular device this morning because that's more potent than what I need today. But I would take this, I apologize to those of you who get dizzy easily that I'm spinning around, but I would press this button, it would light up, and then I would pull on this similar to a cigarette, but with vaporization uh, it's not burning the material, so there's no smoke, there's no carcinogens like that. It vaporizes the THC and the CBD, they come out the mouthpiece, you inhale it, and that's where you get your medicine from, but you get it without the burning, coughing, everything else that goes into that particular product. However, for today, I'm going to be using an open vape pen. This is an open vape pen. Um, this has a, a medicinal, um, product called Jack Herrer, which is high in CBD. It, um, it doesn't affect the, 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 um, cognitive abilities. Kind of funny that I got stuck on that. Um, and so it's, it's safe for, or in my experience, it's safer during the day. Everything I say is my experience. Everybody reacts differently. But with these, they operate similar to an e-cigarette. So all I do is breathe it in and exhale. As you can see, again, it's still not really anything because it's just vapor. But I'll do probably four of these. little bit of vapor but what's going to happen is it'll relax the the nerve endings in my legs and I won't have the pain I'll have better ability to walk I won't be as spastic but I'm also not getting quote unquote high um, I'm going to be able to continue to talk just as I am um, you know, analytically, nothing's going to be different. It's just a medicine for the body. And at this point, I can already feel the, the pain in my legs relaxing. Um, and, and it's just going to make it easier to function. However, if it was the nighttime medicine, the reason I can't use that is because that does have the psychoactive component to it. I wouldn't be safe to drive. Some people claim they're safe to drive when they smoke, but that's generally a 21-year-old 21, 21 college student that says things like that. I'm not taking my life or anybody else's life in my hands. 
Um, so I just wanted to go over that. I thought it was an opportunity for people who don't understand how things work. Obviously, I'm not encouraging that for anybody that is not licensed as a medical marijuana patient in their state or not living in a state that doesn't have um, full legalization. I'm not suggesting anybody break any laws. Um, I am a medical marijuana patient in the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. Um, and thank goodness, because it helps quite a bit. Now my legs are not pain-free, but are very functional, and I'm able to go ahead and go to work and carry on with my day. If you do have MS and you have not tried this to deal with your pain, I do recommend it, or I do recommend that you see your doctor and talk to them about it. And if you're not happy with your doctor's answers, um, start doing some research online because there are doctors that specialize in this, and they will give you um, feedback as to what's appropriate, if it's appropriate, and how it should work. Uh, that's all I've got for today, and I'm going to keep living the dream with MS.